setting up your GPS system. First, you grab your tripod, make sure to loosen your legs. This is an aluminium tripod. Um, we like to use wooden tripods most of the time, but for GPS, an uh, aluminium tripod is fine. It's also a bit more cost effective. Right, when you're kicking out the legs, make sure that you place your tripod base as, as level as possible to minimize the amount that you'll have to adjust your tripod. Placing your tripod on. Okay, this is a 583 tripod. Okay, and immediately I can see that I need to do some minor adjustments. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Once your dry rock is, is leveled, you're ready to move over to the next step, which is placing your extension pole. And then putting your base up. Okay, this is a Reach RS Plus. So it's got a small adapter at the bottom, which converts it to a 5.8 thread. And then also you've got your LoRa antenna, so I'll screw that in until I see the top part not moving anymore. And I'll place my base on. All right. Okay, as soon as my base is up, I'll switch it on. All right, this means that I'm now ready to go to, over to my rover. But what you also see is that I did not set up on a known point. Um, the reason for this is obviously I don't have a known point here, but we like to make use of site calibration uh, when we do this specifically. So it avoids for height errors um, and just make sure that we can continuously, re continuously repeat the same setup. All right, so let's get started and get our rover. So I'll screw in the small adapter at the bottom. I'll screw in my antenna. And then I'll place it onto my pole. Okay, and then I'll lift my pole up to the desired height. In this specific case, I like two meters as it's taller than what I am and taller than most of my surrounding areas. Okay, then I'll put on my controller adapter. I'm right-handed, so I place it facing towards the right. And then I'll place on my controller. So there we go, it's nice and tight, which means I can put it back into my controller adapter. All right, and that means I'm ready to go measure my GCP points. Obviously, don't forget to put on your controller. Next step will be to do a site calibration uh, for this unique case scenario, so since this is the first time in this field, we'll just use a normal local setup and we'll play some points to come back the next time when we do another server on this area.